Hey, what's going on, you awesome wrestling fans, you? It's King Robo. And welcome back to some more WWE 2K My Factions. Today, we're going to be looking at some SummerSlam Cleveland cards in these packs. Plus, if you guys know about the DLC that came out this past two days, which is the Pat McAfee Show's DLC, he's giving us a free code here. Sadly for me, I wanted to get that DLC video out for you guys a day early, but for some reason the day it was supposed to come out, I don't think it was out. I know you guys probably had the same problem, but besides that, let me put in the code and we'll open this later before we open up the big stuff. And there we go, we got the locker code put in. So, we're gonna check out some live events because we got a lot of new stuff in here, plus some things that are still there that you can still finish. Also, I got some great news to tell you guys about some of these rewards that you can still get. But, again, as usual, I usually say this at the end, if this is helpful for you guys, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And also, join the kingdom. Because we usually do this every week if they basically release packs every week. Sometimes they like to take a little break. But let's continue. First thing on the list here, everything from the last pack is here for the weekend. By the time you guys see this, you'll probably have directly two days to complete these. So jump on them if you got them now. Or if you got lucky to get this Selena Vega for... The Diamond Bianca Belair 17. Also, you got about a week's time for this Encore here. If you have Sami Zayn from the Punches and Promos Pack. I forgot about this one. You'll be able to get your hands on a Roman Reigns if you haven't gotten this one. But the one in the Superstar Series 2 is uh, way better. He has a lot of badges. It even makes the Diamond Reward Roman, to me, look a little bit better. And either way, if you get it, you'll get a persona that you could use in free mode, which is not bad. The other encore here is ending in 14 days or so. Well, 13 if you watch this a little later. If you have the Carmelo Hayes, you'll be able to get yourself a ricochet. Note, I just wanted to throw this out there for you guys. If you already have done these challenges, you could redo them again for a cool 15,000 MFP. So that is really good if you think about it so jump on in here another 14 day challenge batista another persona i'm pretty sure you guys already have the backlash randy orton uh if not i would go in there if you have some mfp it's not that expensive but you should be able to buy him if you save up by just doing a couple of things in the mode itself and last but not least on the old stuff on the list these are all the things that are still here from the Superstar Series 2 bonus Amethyst Diamond Rewards. I managed to get, I think, two extras from the free packs that I warned you guys about. That one, I think, was Gunther. I pulled out of one of the free packs, which was awesome. We got Tim Balor. And I also pulled the Solo Sokola from the free packs. And we got Roman Reigns 15. These are definitely both in my team even though I don't think they have the greatest badges but hey look they're diamonds and I took them I put them in the upgrade so I hope you guys got something good out of there matter of fact let me know what you guys got hopefully something good and as usual finally we got back the two challenges as normal for men and women these are the SummerSlam Cleveland card challenge packs here so I know I said that a little backwards if you get your hands on either or the men or women as you can see here you'll be able to get yourself some great rewards we're going to start with the guys you're going to be able to get yourself a premium and a base the mastered pack for both five tokens which is not the greatest this week but it's whatever it's good to have and 1500 nfp that adds up because you're going to see more of this later and then next up for the women you're going to be able to get yourself two heat series two packs these i didn't really get anything out of i know you guys probably saw that if not go back and check that out on the channel um they will technically if it's the premium one i think you might have better odds of getting something good out of it uh you'll see why i mentioned this in a second 
you also get another extra 10 tokens, which will altogether give you 15, and then 2,000 MFP. That's a good 3,500 MFP. And then last but not least, we have the boss battle itself for the whole SummerSlam Cleveland card collection. If you manage to get your hands on the Amethyst Bright Heart, you can upgrade him instantly by going into this challenge and only one time of win, get yourself a Diamond Brat the Hitman Heart 92. He does have some interesting stats. As usual, I like to go over these. Follow along if you can see, or if you're just listening. We got 85s all over the place at the top, plus the grapple offense, technical submission offense, body durability. We have a 90 in the grapple reversal, so he's going to be really good there. It's going to help. Technical submission defense is a 90. Of course, you need some defense in those. The power submission defense, sadly, is an 80. Uh, probably would have put that as a 92, maybe. He's going to need defense. Pen escape is a 85 with the stamina, movement speed, so he's going to be kind of a little fast. Recovery is also up there, not bad. Uh, special is a 79, not the greatest, and the finisher is 85, I'll take it. Badges though, badges make him look even better, he has always see it coming. Wet blanket, heavy and sting is there, you got the endurance, okay. You got space invader for that special move, and pain train. I would have probably put all the answers, if I'm not mistaken, the combo with the Always See It Coming, but uh, that's just me, and he has Resiliency. And last on the live events list here, I just wanted to go over this, this is what I meant by like a lot of MFP, if whoever got the pack or the season pass, I would just download it if you're a person that just plays factions, you can come in here and open up the packs, which we're going to do in a few minutes. And do this challenge with the two Toxic Table guys that we uh, showed in our last video from the DLC. And you're taking on jobbers, so this shouldn't be too hard to do. That's a lot of MFP there. And then we got another Diamond Reward you can get this weekend. Braun Strowman, you're just going to need Pat and his other two friends, which is Butler and Hawks. Let's go over this real quick. The last one we seen of Braun was an Amethyst a while back, I think, in live events. This one seems a little bit better, to be honest. His 85 to start. Arm power, grapple, offense is a 90. His body durability is up there. Power submission defense is a 99. Why? <laughs> what in the world is that? Arm durability is 84. Pin escape is a 95. He's going to be a pain to pin. Uh, strength is also up there. It's not going to be the fastest, so we already know this. Special is an 84. Finisher is a 90. Eh, a little bit better uh, stat-wise, maybe by Brat. If you compare him a little bit, but he's a big dude, so it's not going to be doing a lot. He has Quick Winner and Showman. I don't think I've seen this badge in a while on some cards. Let me know if you guys seen us on another card recently. Those two combo together pretty good if you're grinding for some MFP for you grinders out there. He has the Heavy Sting. I love to see that. Unscratched. That also ties in with the other two there. So you got three. I don't know if they'll stack, but they probably do. And Pain Train for that special move. Choo Choo, all aboard everybody. The Braun Strowman Train. He has Resiliency. Not bad. We're over in the Faction Wars here. And we got some new rotating cards that's going to be in the permanent cards soon, as you can see from the top six there. These four, I would not really go for. If you have a lot of points, I haven't been able to touch this mode as much. I've been in Proven Grounds, finally finished it though. Uh, I have a lot of tickets, so I might grind this out. I would just say to just grab them, get them in there for the collection. And is it me or we're getting a lot of Trick Williams, kind of like Asuka. Let's keep going down this uh, list of stuff here. We got a new week here, 25. It's going to net you 3,500 MFP. So that's even more on the list of MFP here. So that's like, I would say 47,000 MFP right there this week. Make it 50 just to have an even number. You know what I mean? Not bad. And we are finally starting to look at the cards here. So... 
let's review some of the ones here that, of course, at the top, I think are the worst to the best, as usual. We're going to start this off with Indy Hartwell. Reason why is because I think this one should be at the bottom. I know Sensational Sherry, I think that's the one next to her, was the one below her. I would say this one might be lower because even though maybe the badges or stats might be even or a little bit better, it's just, like I said, a little bit on my opinion here. We're going to start at the top with the 85. The running offense with the diving range is at 87. Not bad. All right, let's go down the list here. Body durability, the arm and leg are also sharing an 87. Pen escape, 87. You're going to see a pattern here. <laughs> oh, boy. Stamina, movement speed, agility is a 90. Not bad, but see, here's the problem. She might be fast. Recovery is also 94. But she's not going to be hitting hard on moves that you want her to deliver on. Special is 72. You're definitely going to have to throw a badge on for this one. Or, I said badge. Side plate. And the finisher is at 80. So, yeah. If you don't have a good manager by now, she's not going to be able to hit too hard with those stats. She has Pain Train, Lionheart, Going in Hot, Dive Bomber, Sting, Merciless Opportunist. The Going in Hot, not bad, Sting. Okay, could have been a little higher with Resiliency. Next up, we got Sensational Sherry here. I would possibly put it number four. She has some interesting stats. Probably not as high as Indies, but let's go down the... Diving offense is a 91. Oh, I forgot at the top of 85 as usual. The body durability arm are a 90. Leg is 85. Pen escape is at 85 with the stamina and movement speed. So she's going to be slightly fast like Indy, but not as. Everything else is kind of low. Recovery is at 80. And here's the this is why I put her a little higher. Special is a 91 and the finisher is a 91. You side plate that. That's probably going to be a 99, depending on what side plate you get out of maybe the diamond pack from the collection or any usable consumables. She has Rebel Rouser, all the answers, Sting Like a Bee, Always See It Coming, so those two are pretty good. The Rebel Rouser is fantastic there. Dive Bomber for one of the specials, and Space Invader for that special move with Resiliency. Coming in at number three here is Braun Breaker. He's been having some interesting stats on some of his cards. Let's see if this one lives up to it. We're starting at the top there with 85. Also in the arm power, running offense, grapple reversal, arm durability, body, leg. The works there, we got the diving reversal with a 90. Pen escape is 85, not bad. Strength is a 90. Movement speed is 85. Recovery is 85. And the special is a 85 with the finisher being a 91. To me, he has stats where he's supposed to be doing it right at. I like that. Badges, energetic opportunist, rebel rouser, swiftness, going in hot, sting. I wish he had a heavy here. That slippery eel kind of could have been a little bit higher. See, I might put sherry here just i don't know <laughs> what you guys think he has pain train too to help with that special move with resiliency and coming in at number two next to number one which you'll see in a second gunther this is i would say kind of a good premium card to pull i would say next to the reward one you can get it is an upgrade to me we're starting with 85 at the top arm prowess in 92 uh, the strike reversal is 85. The body durability is 87. He has a lot of stats all over the place. Pen escape is a 91. Strength is at 87. And it's not going to be the fastest. Special is 87 and the finisher is 92. But here's the badges, which makes me very interested in him. He has a high tier wet blanket, high tier slippery eel. As usual, let me check the pin. It's, that's high. Okay, he has a sting and heavy, which are at a good spot. Merciless opportunist. 
Space Invader, and all the answers. To me, yeah, I would say I would probably put him at the number two spot. He's just really good for me. Coming in at number one is the reward here, Solo Sokoa. We're going to start at the top here. He's sharing a lot of 87s with another card. Uh, the 85 at the top as usual. Arm power is a 93. Leg, running offense, and the body durability with the arm durability is up there at 87. Pen escape is a 93. Strength is 87. He's going to be slightly fast. Special is 87 with the recovery. Finisher is a 93. And he has a lot here too. He has a high tier going in hot, wet blanket, and heavy with the sting. I wish the sting was up there. It would have made him really good of a reward to get. He has energetic opportunist. That should have been higher. Slippery eel. Perfect for his pen escape. And Marcellus Opportunist for those stunned clowns that you could just beat up all day. With resiliency. Another week with a, another great reward if you manage to get all the cards. It's time to get some packs. And if you guys feel like you might win at SummerSlam, you can come on over here and spend a lot for a SummerSlam action pack cosmetic, which is usually not the greatest. So like as usual, I'm gonna go and get mine so we can start this up. We got 14 packs here to open up. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do the DLC second, and then we'll do the codes first. We'll open up the Drew here, see what we got. Nice, very nice. I don't have this one, so it's, it's really good. Next up, let's get our Faction War tickets. We only got three. Could have gave us five. Kind of lame. And the punches and promos. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. We finished that one, so we got the cosmetic for that. Perfect. Might as well get it out of the way. Thank you, Pat. And now to open up the DLC. Let's get these bad boys in our collection so we can do them later. I'm sitting here looking at my watch. This is taking forever. All right, so just want to go over these real quick. Of course, they're not going to be up to par with most of the newer cards we've gotten by rewards or premiums. He has no paybacks, of course. Okay, I see the challenge being a little bit more difficult. Look at this. Don't tell me Pat's gonna be the only one with an actual payback. Yeah. Overall, the DLC, like, I know a lot of people saying it's not the greatest. The only thing I like was the football and Pat being in it, but these cards, I don't know. Let's start opening these up. Hopefully we get something good. And it is always good to get the Series 2 ones.
I'm still missing two of the emeralds for the Tiffany Stratton. I don't think she's one of them. We are definitely not getting anything out of this. Deville, I think, is one. Perfect. Just that last one and we can get him. Final three. Oh, finally. Is it one of the diamonds? Please be one of the diamonds. Um, you could have just 2k, you could have just gave me the diamond. Oh. Well, at least we got him. He's one of the more difficult ones to pull, I guess. And the final pack. Well, we didn't get one of the diamonds from the actual pack, but we did pull a mo another one and managed to get our hands on this Bronson Reed here. I don't know if I'm going to put him in the team, but if we get Strowman, I'm definitely going to put Strowman in over him. <laughs> it's, oh man, they could have just gave us a diamond one, but I'll take this. This is cool, I guess. And as usual, I usually come here to show you what I got, but this is the first time I think in 2K faction history, your king here, your boy, Robo, did not get anything. This is insane. But I did it so you guys could see what you'd get and it seems like nothing this week. So I think we're gonna end it there. As usual guys, have a good day and peace wrestling fans and oh also i hope you guys enjoy SummerSlam in cleveland i can't wait to see some matches i i have some predictions so let me know if you want who you think is going to win a certain match you might like peace everybody